in this lesson i will create the listing of the galleries because so far we have created the form to create our galleries but after saving the form we are redirecting to a different page and the listing of the galleries are not shown here let me show you where i'm coming from this is the gallery save and i am back to this page where i don't know whether the gallery has been submitted or not so we will do the listing and before i do that i will quickly change the theme for bootstrap there is a site where you can find quite a few bootstrap themes which we can implement the site is bootwatch now if you scroll down you will see a lot of themes which are available readily and they are for free i'll download this so i have saved this file inside the public css folder and now as you can see this is the css file now i will update my master blade i don't need the default bootstrap instead I'll just copy it and in this I'll say inside my public CSS this is the file name reload and we are good to go so this is the theme I was talking about another quick change is inside my nav controller I will change this and gulp is not running so i'll do gulp watch reload i think we need to compile it once and then i'll keep it on watch refresh and we are seeing the latest menu content okay so the first part is done now I need to get the listing. Now let's see what we have. We have inside app the gallery model. I am saving the name and the user ID. So this part is pretty much done. I have the gallery controller where the index method is not written. So what I will do is say return gallery all. Now this will obviously return me okay, there is no Yeah, so it is returning me the JSON objects of all the galleries, but if we check there is no user object because we don't have the relation. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'll say with user ID sorry, it's not with where user id will be auth user id which will mean he will only see his own galleries we do a get now obviously i need to include it in my use so i'll say use illuminate support facades auth now I also need the user object if I see even now my galleries don't have the user object this is the complete gallery it doesn't have the user object so what I will do is I'll say that this gallery belongs to user which is this model I think now we should be able to introduce with user and so we have ID user ID created and then the user object which is the entire user object and if you were following my tutorial in my last video I have written this 
accessor to kind of reformat the created date and as as a result you can see that the created at is showing me one week ago whereas the updated date is the typical timestamp which means this is working so we have the json ready right we can go to the gallery controller js we have the gallery model so let's bring that i will introduce a new method i will say get all galleries which is a function and it will just return an http get request inside my controller gallery model I will say dollar scope dot now we can assign any variable so this should give me all the galleries right and let me just see I have this have the model which is returning yeah I think that's about it this is my gallery view I need to console I have not consoled anywhere so quickly do a console dot log response I hope it's on watch yes it is and then refresh so I have four which is okay and inside that I have one week ago name user object yes, yes. right so this is what we wanted now quickly go to gallery view this is our HTML file where we are displaying everything I will say git dev row sorry I will copy paste some of the HTML code and then I will get back okay so this is the HTML code I am running a panel inside that I have the gallery name gallery user dot name the created timestamp and if we hit refresh all right so this is what I have if I go to add gallery adding one more and this is here so you can see I'm doing an ng repeat gallery in galleries this galleries is the object which I am creating when I get the response obviously and then I'm doing an order by filter order it by ID and reverse is true which means the latest comes first and then the typical gallery dot name gallery username and the gallery created at okay so this part is done now the next thing which is kind of a very small tweak is I would want that there is a small delay in getting the list of galleries and I want to show that the things are loading so what we can do is you know it's uh, something like the gmail interface which sh shows a loading text and then once all the mails are loaded it shows you in one shot right so sim something similar what we can do is we'll say dollar scope dot show galleries equals true now I don't want it right now I will first add dollar timeout okay and then dollar timeout inside that function inside that I will take everything else and then thousand what it does is basically it's like the JavaScript timeout where it will wait for one second and then show everything now this is the variable which we need to work with I will say ng show equals this which means when this is true this will be visible now we are making it true only when we are getting the response 
and then in here I will say div SQL column it's the same only thing is it's a hide now we see the loading and then the text so basically we have added a little more waiting time so that we can fake it out otherwise if it's a typical rest you can just use this instead of the timeout and the loading will come in now this time it will be very fast because it's my local machine but on a server it will load show the loading and then give you all the listing of the galleries yeah that's about it a small tutorial on how we can quickly render all the galleries from the form save save to the view galleries and then rendering the details thanks for watching guys if you like the video do share it on twitter google plus hit the thumbs up icon and also do subscribe to my channel